All right, man, peace. So for those of you brothers that follow combat sports, you'll remember that a little bit over a year ago, the great pound for pound all time champion Floyd Mayweather waged battle with Conor McGregor and what proved to be the most lucrative single night of combat sports in the history of combat sports in America. Well, it seems as though Floyd Mayweather still has not gotten over that night. He's still laying in bed reminiscing about how much money he made because he let out a little bit of innuendo towards Conor McGregor that he would be interested in allowing Conor McGregor to train at his gym in Las Vegas for Conor McGregor's soon-to-be career-making bout against Khabib. Well, it's obvious to me that the reason why Floyd is doing that is to try to influence Conor McGregor in some way to possibly consider fighting him again in a boxing match should the Khabib fight not work out for him. I have little doubt about that. That's the only reason why Floyd was stating that Conor should come train at the Mayweather Boxing Club and so that he can get in Conor's ear, maybe show him a thing or two about boxing, keep his name relevant by tying his himself into the Conor McGregor-Khabib fight. And Conor was very wise to say what he stated in regards to Floyd Mayweather because I think that Conor, I think that he sniffed out what Floyd was really trying to do, which was link himself with Conor's fight in an attempt to down the line maybe stipulate that Connor come back to boxing to fight him again. But anyway, they're going to talk about it, and I'm going to chime in. Uh, now for the latest in Connor versus Floyd. So Mayweather recently offered McGregor his Vegas gym as a place to train leading up to his next big U.S. sea fight, and... Let me say this. There's no such thing as something for nothing. For Floyd Mayweather to float that out there, it's very obvious that he was, number one, trying to promote himself, promote his brand, promote his gym, and also use that as some inroads with Connor and his team to possibly negotiate for another mega bout, maybe even next year. I doubt if Floyd wants to go into the octagon, but he may want to consider trying to win Connor over into the boxing ring. And uh, McGregor responded with this. Believe the Mayweathers, except Senior and Roger, there is no peace to your kid. Step up or step down. May Kudos to Connor McGregor for sniffing out what Floyd was trying to do. Or maybe, maybe Conor McGregor should be scrutinized for sniffing out what, what Floyd was trying to do because maybe it may be in his best interest to take Floyd up on a possible fight offer down the line. Because whether Conor wins or loses this fight against Khabib, this next fight is going to be one of the major moments in Conor McGregor's career and it is going to put him in a position where either he'll need a comeback bout, something that he can use to line his pockets for the rest of his life, or he's going to be on top of the mixed martial art world and he may consider a rematch with Floyd. But I still think that Connor's thinking about Floyd's alleged promise that he would face Connor in the octagon. And he's upset that Floyd does not seem to want to follow through on it. And I don't blame Floyd for that. You, you don't want to get involved in the octagon with those guys, especially since you're not particularly well trained on, on grappling and throwing and things of that nature. Mayweather then fired back with falling caption underneath a picture of him hitting Connor. Easiest nine figures I ever made. All work is what? And again this morning, hashtag WCW, whoop Connor Wednesday. Everyone following me, repost this. Come up with your own creative caption and tag me. Thanks in advance. Max, what's going on here? Yep. Well, all work is easy work is what Floyd is saying. This is what's going on here. Floyd Mayweather loves Connor McGregor. I agree with that. I totally agree. I think that Floyd loves Connor McGregor. He loves him, like 50 Cent said back in the day, like a fat kid loves cake. He looks at Conor McGregor as the gift that keeps on giving. This is the, the best marketing partner that he's ever had since he's been involved in combat sports. And he sees that there's the potential for, for them to possibly negotiate another fight. Once again, there's no doubt in my mind that that's the reason why he wanted Conor to come train at his boxing gym. So that maybe he could sit down with Conor and his team and work on promoting something man to man. That's what's going on here. He loves this man. That's why there's an enormous mural of Conor McGregor hanging at Mayweather's house. Because he loves... Of course, that's the best hole Floyd has ever had. That's Floyd's mentality. I've been pimping these dudes for over 20 years. This is the best hole I've ever had. This is my bottom bitch right here. Loves Conor McGregor. Do you understand that once upon a time, for literally one one thousandth of the money that he made against McGregor, he would have to fight real contenders on his way up that required his full attention, the whole thing. 
And because McGregor, who's a... Well, I'll say this. In regards to fighters that require Floyd's full attention, I'm not sure if he ever faced any contenders that required his full attention. He's faced champions who have required his full attention. Who's a great fighter in the UFC and is such a talented fighter that with how much of a boxing background in any practice in recent years was able to fight the way he did against the best in the business in Floyd. But more than that, Floyd looks at McGregor, Stephen A., and he's got to be thinking... All these years, I had to carry the whole promotion by myself. I'm the only one, it seems, who understands this is show business, too, not just an athletic event. And finally, I come across a guy who's going to do at least half the work. Stephen A., I got to tell you, I can relate to it in the sense that when you're on TV and the red light goes on, you want to work with someone who understands it's time to go and put on a show, and you obviously understand that. It makes the job easier in a lot of ways. Floyd has got to love Conor McGregor. Of course he has to love him. As, as Floyd Mayweather has already stated, he made well over nine figures fighting that guy. That's why he wants to fight him again. So you picked up on a lot of it, Max Kellerman. You picked up on the fact that, yes, Floyd Mayweather does love Conor McGregor as a dance partner but what you missed out on is the notion in my view that he wants to dance with him again he wants another tango well I don't have to speculate about it because that's exactly what Floyd told me uh, remember I interviewed him before he fought Conor McGregor and he was like I've never been so more grateful to an opponent he said I've never ever ever worked with a guy that I was about to fight that carried his load the way that he did. He said, Stephen A, this guy has surprised even me. I knew that he was good in marketing and promotion. I did not know he was this good. This guy has shown up, he has shown out, he has marketed the hell out of this product. And he said, and the money that he's going to make from this fight, because you know, obviously it was a Mayweather Promotions event, of course, uh, to some degree anyway. He was like, the money that we've got to dole out for this fight on his behalf, it's, he'll deserve every penny. I cannot... Yes, he certainly did. Conor McGregor deserved every penny that he was paid, not only for the fight buildup, but also for his performance that night he showed up to win. He really had no chance of winning. Once you saw that his power really had no effect on Floyd the first three rounds, he hit Floyd with a couple of flush shots. Floyd just laugh and walk right through it, but he definitely deserved everything that he was paid. Not tell you how grateful Floyd was to Conor McGregor because Conor McGregor is willing to put himself on Front Street and sell himself the way that he does. Floyd looks at Conor McGregor as a money maker, and I can tell you right now when Conor McGregor has the challenge of Conor McGregor is no doubt a money maker. I think that Floyd Mayweather sees a kindred spirit in Conor McGregor. And that's why they're always going to clash because they're almost too much alike. Challenge of his life, as far as I'm concerned, coming up October uh, October 6th in Vegas. It that's a major event right there. Conor McGregor versus Khabib, major event. In the UFC, uh, then there's not going to be too many. There's not yeah, yeah, no Magomedo. I'm glad that Max Kellerman pronounced it because I had totally forgotten how to pronounce his last name. There's not going to be too many people rooting for Conor McGregor more than Floyd Money Mayweather. Floyd Money Mayweather doesn't want to lose to him, but he wants Conor McGregor to beat everybody else because as far as Floyd Mayweather... Well, I, I agree with you that Floyd will be rooting for Conor McGregor, but he's hoping that Conor wins because that will put Conor's name once again in the limelight at the top of the UFC, and Floyd may consider challenging Conor McGregor in another boxing match, or oh, who knows? He may be waiting for Conor to defeat Khabib so that he can challenge Conor McGregor in the octagon. I doubt it, but <laughs> you never know with a lot of these guys, man. They're a little bit off kilter. But I believe that if he does try to challenge Conor again, it may be in a rematch in the boxing ring. But once again, who knows? Floyd may try to jump in the ring at the end of the Khabib fight and try to challenge Conor in the octagon. Whether it's concerned, the more popular Conor McGregor is, the more successful he is, the more opportunity potentially there may be out there for Floyd to make money down the road himself. Ding. Good job, Stephen A. Smith. Because Conor McGregor is a marketing whiz, and Floyd, I, I just can't tell you, I've interviewed Floyd on several occasions over the years. He has never been more grateful to a fighter he has gone up against than Conor McGregor because of how Conor McGregor promoted the fight. He was Harry disgusted. To some, yeah. He was disgusted. Well, he thinks that Conor McGregor did more than that. He thought... 
Now, did you guys see that tattoo on Conor McGregor's back? Let me rewind that back just a little bit. Than Conor McGregor because of how Conor McGregor promoted the fight. He was now, look at that tattoo on the back of Conor McGregor. Seems to imply that he has a serpent energy. That's the Kundalini effect of the winding serpent going up his spine. It's a mind activation. He was Carry disgusted. To some, yeah. He was disgusted. Well, he thinks that Conor McGregor did more than that. He thought that this was the first time in his career. The tattoo also slightly resembles the Caduceus or the, the, the staff of Hermes. You know, the, the wing staff at the top, of course, with the intertwining serpents. He actually had a little license the other guy to one. step back. And he didn't feel that way about Pacquiao. He didn't feel that way about a lot of guys that he had fought throughout his career. He felt like he had to be Money Mayweather to market himself about it, and make that money. You think about it, Manny Pacquiao was at his best historically great. We've never seen anything like it from flyweight to welterweight, obliterating divisions. The whole. Yes, very strange. Somebody came up from 112 pounds or whatever weight class he was at, all the way to 154 pounds and was breaking eye sockets at 154 pounds. Amazing. Never seen before. Very strange. The whole thing. And Floyd and Manny were promoted, but that was being built up for half a decade before that fight happens. And he barely made more money fighting Manny Pacquiao than Conor McGregor. And they whipped that up and promoted the whole thing in six months. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because one fighting partner, Conor McGregor, can talk his ass off, can out-talk Floyd. And the other, Manny Pacquiao, really has a, an issue, a problem connecting to the American audience because of the language barrier. If Manny Pacquiao had been able to talk shit like Conor McGregor, they may have been able to make a billion dollars that night. Say less than six months. Listen. Yeah, right. A couple months. Connor and Bergamadoff, October 6th. Cannot wait for that one, gentlemen. We that's will a leave big it time there. Fight right there. Oh, it's going to be good. Yeah, that's going to be a huge event. We'll see how things turn off for Connor. Just getting back to that tattoo, I have little doubt that Connor, I'm not going to quite call him an MK athlete. He could be that. But he's definitely in the know in regards to the craft. He certainly is a Luciferian, as you could tell. Or as one who's, who has understanding of what they're looking at can tell by looking at the tattoo on his back. He has what Kanye West stated in reference to speaking about Donald Trump, the serpent energy. Or as Kobe Bryant calls it, the Mamba mentality. Meaning what they look to, the serpent on the left hand side for guidance and wisdom and leadership. As I've stated that tattoo on Conor McGregor's spine, that's an allusion to the winding serpent or the Kundalini effect. Mind activation going up. The, the 33 vertebrae in his spine all the way to the pineal gland. That's why the tattoo slightly resembles the caduceus of Hermes. Hermes is also known as Kush, also known as Agni. He is the, the, the great wizard, the great prophet, so on and so forth. But it is what it is. You brothers get the point. If you've been on my channel long enough, you get the point. So peace.